out and look at some leaf samples that he had pulled off some plants. Uh, they were pulled off yesterday, so there's a little bit of a uh, drying effect, um, wilting effect from from being pulled, but we just took a little bit of a look um, at the leaf lesions that he had. John is from the Northeast Ohio area over by the Pennsylvania state line where they deal a lot with gray leaf spot, northern corn leaf blight, um, and just kind of wanted to, to get my opinion on what I thought maybe the lesions were and what exactly we were troubleshooting. What are we doing here? Analyzing leaf disease. It's definitely gray, but it's hard to tell because in the middle it could have been northern and the gray got to it too. But all this is gray leaf spot. All that's gray? Yeah. Okay. Do you know how you can tell the difference? That's so why I tried to They bring both it. look exactly the same in the first two weeks. You can't tell the difference. Okay. Like in about the first week or two. After that, so gray stays between the leaf veins and it actually, is, northern will go out of it. Actually, it'll look like an along, they'll call it the cigar lesion. Yeah. It looks like a cigar, like a, a fat in the middle and skinny on the end. But we're talking which one? Gray, that's, that's with northern. With right. gray, it looks like, I always say it looks like pixelated blocks. Like if you ever played Tetris? Yeah. That's what it looks like. It okay. looks like Tetris is falling down into the leaf. Gray starts to take over and they all start to link together and it'll kill the whole leaf. Okay. So, which gray is probably is worse than northern. Which is weird. In most cases. Which for as bad as he's left. It's probably gray. Oh yeah, there's no doubt. Yeah. Okay. Gray right. is much worse than northern.